Recently, it's been said that kimchi without fish sauce and shrimp paste isn't real kimchi, but let's set the record straight, shall we? Kimchi has been around for nearly 3,000 years, but guess what? The original kimchi didn't have any gochugaru. In fact, that spicy chili powder didn't get added to kimchi until the 18th century. Guess what else the original kimchi didn't have? Fish sauce or shrimp paste. Those things didn't get added until the late 19th century. In other words, during its 3,000 year existence, kimchi has had fish sauce and shrimp paste in it for only about 200 years, less than 10% of its history. That makes sense since kimchi was invented when Buddhism was very popular on the peninsula and as you may know, Buddhists discourage the consumption of animal products. As a professional arguer, I'd have to say that the evidence leans far more in favor of the vegan kimchi being the real kimchi as opposed to its current iteration. But here's the thing, real, not real, what does that even mean? For me, it's always been whether the people making and selling kimchi pay respect to the culture and history behind it, instead of just trying to make a quick buck or get a million views. And I think it's pretty disrespectful to go up to any Korean person or a Korean monk, one who's been making fish-free kimchi since she was a child and tell her, your kimchi isn't real because because even though Koreans have been making it your way for, I don't know, thousands of years, it's not the way that's popular today.